Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to convert your Windows system drive from MBR to GPT. So you can see here if we right click this drive here it says convert to GPT but it's grayed out meaning you can't do it using disk management. So we just did a video on how to convert a non-Windows drive from MBR to GPT such as this one here using Niobe Partition Editor. So I'll put a link in the description for that video. So if you're looking to do something like that that's not your Windows drive uh, it's a really easy process. All right, so for this here, we're going to be using a specific command to do the conversion. So you could do this from within Windows, or you could do it from the Windows PE mode, or if you also go into the Windows recovery options and then do a command prompt, you should be able to do it from there too. So if you're doing this from within Windows, you have to add this switch to the command. Otherwise, you don't have to use this if you're doing it from you know, the recovery mode or Windows PE environment. So this is only for Windows. All right, so there's a couple commands here. We're going to use the validate switch first to make sure it's something that can be converted, and then we'll use the convert command after that. All right, so let's copy this here. We need to open administrator command prompt, so CMD, run as administrator. All right, so we'll paste this one in here by right clicking. All right, so validation has completed successfully. So, by the way, disk zero matches this here, which should be disk zero. On your computer too since you know it should be your first drive for Windows but if not you'll have to change it and this could only be used on the Windows drive I believe I don't think you could use it on a different drive all right so now we're going to run the command with convert here so we'll copy that right click to paste it in here press enter All right, so the process is complete, but we get a message here. Before the new system can boot properly, you need to switch the firmware to boot from UEFI mode. So if you're using a BIOS instead of UEFI, assuming you have the option to switch, you'll need to do that unless you're already in UEFI mode to begin with. So that's something you're going to have to check out on your end. And I would strongly suggest doing a backup of your important files before doing something like this because you could have a problem where your computer's not even going to boot if something goes wrong or if there's some setting that is incorrect. Okay, so I'm going to shut down this computer and switch it over to UEFI mode and then be back and we'll see what happens. All right, so we're booting up again. Let's log in. Let's go to disk management. All right, so now when we right click, we have the option to convert to MBR, which tells us that this is a GPT disk. So it looks like it worked successfully. So we're back in Windows. Everything seems to be running okay. So we'll call that good. All right, so I will put those commands in the description. Then I'll also put a link to a website that gives you more information about those commands and then you can try it out for yourself. But like I said, make sure you do a backup first. Alright, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.